the, we've got some good weather for it this weekend too. Today there is going to be a slight chance for a few late day storms, about a 30% chance in Denver. UV index is high. We'll be at about 83 by noon and then 88 by about 4 o'clock. So it's a good 7 to near 10 degrees cooler this afternoon uh, to what we saw yesterday. We hit 95 yesterday, which was just a few degrees off from the record high. We're right now at 65, a beautiful shot of the Capitol. It's going to be a gorgeous sunrise and pretty bright out east. Decono right now at 58. Parker, you're waking up to 60 and out at the airport at 66. One of the biggest concerns this next few days will be fire danger. We're going to see those winds kick up on the western slope, relative humidity dropping down below 15% and some pretty big heat, 80s and 90s out near Grand Junction. Steamboat's going to be pretty warm, so you are going to find uh, some high fire danger on and off over the next few days. Out across the eastern plains, it's the severe weather that we're going to be looking for. Not widespread, but there will be a few storms like this past few days that'll pop up and get a bit stronger with some larger hail and damaging winds. So the yellow areas where we're seeing that slight risk and then on the outer edges of it, that marginal risk a little closer to Greeley and Fort Collins and just east of Denver. So take a look at future cast this morning. We could see some patchy fog out on the plains. If there is some in your area, it's going to clear up by about nine o'clock. Denver at 77 by 10 Fort Collins 71, a touch cooler over the northern edge of our state. We're tracking a weak front rolling in a weak system that's going to bring with it a slightly better chance of afternoon storms. Denver at about 87 mid to upper 80s by noon and then highs in the upper 80s to near 90. Uh, we will see thunderstorms though developing after 3 o'clock. A little increase in cloud cover here in town and again this is going to be one of those spots where a few storms will produce some some gustier winds and the large hail. By 8 o'clock most of that again is well off to the east of I-25. It looks like a beautiful evening here along I-25 and up and through the foothills but you'll notice those winds coming in out of the west. It's going to get gusty in spots, especially out over the western half of the state. 60s, calmer conditions early Saturday morning, and then it's a little bit hotter tomorrow afternoon. We'll be at about 90 to 95 degrees Saturday afternoon with yet again a few more storms popping up. Drier weather, though, on Sunday. Sunday looks to be mostly sunny, and that's when the heat is really going to get cranked up. 95 Sunday, 96 upper 90s on Monday. So we're talking some near record breaking temperatures early next week and some really dry weather. So Jason, I'm thinking and again, we saw those red flag warnings. <laughs> Fire danger will likely be an issue here really for the next few days. Yeah,